right, what's going on, everybody? This is Kevin Barber with another classic. I've been on Instagram, right? I've been trying to post a lot more frequently. I've been going hard. If you follow me on Instagram, amazing. If you don't, get on it. You feel what I'm saying? But <laughs> anyway, I posted recently this post right here, the raking method versus the flush method. And the raking me method isn't really a finishing method. Like you can't really use it by itself. It's coupled with other things like clip over comb. And when you when you have this array of techniques, it's something you insert within it. It's not um, it's not a standalone. Just so you guys know. But anyway, let's get right into this video. So, first things first. This is our canvas. Um, when I start haircuts, I usually start with the shape. Right now I'm just doing the shape and I'm using the heel, keeping focus to the back of the blade, back of the guard rather, right here. And then I'm rising off of the head as I come up, just going straight up. This is very important to really start your fades. It gives you a, a nice, flat, clean surface. In order to show you guys this, I wanted to just start with the bald line, um, create these lines, and then take them out for you. This is not going to be a full fade video as usual. You know, I just wanted to see the best way I can show you guys how to really do this rake method and really focus in on that. Now I create the second guideline with a one open. And um, I know in the picture there was an image with no guard, but this fade method is really good when you're using the one you know that's i think the one is like the perfect one to have close anything like that you put it flat and then you pull it up and put the tips to the head it's exactly how um is best and you just rake through that's why it's called the rake method you move it in a raking motion and this is this is typically what i do to lighten the line. You can see that it was harsh and now I'm lightening it. And I'm sorry, at times my hand gets in the way. That's why I'm gonna try uh, different angles throughout the video. But ultimately what I'm doing here is I'm creating, I created the line now I'm just lightening it up. I'm taking, it, taking the one and a half and blending it into my two. Now the two isn't, the side of the head isn't completely a two. It's a graduation since we rose up off the head. The raking method is perfect because it also graduates into that fade, if you understand what I'm saying. Here I'm using the corners. So the raking method, you can use the whole front of the blade or guard, or you can roll it off and use corners for more accuracy to do specific spots. And this method is actually perfect. This is the type of stuff that barbers do all the time without thinking. The whole creating lines and taking them out with the full blade is, is a beginner thing. You know, this is more advanced. And here, and then after that, I just fade the bottom out. I think it's also important to note that these methods are sporadic. They are irregular these are irregular things everything isn't straightforward you have to the head isn't perfectly symmetrical the it's not perfectly flat so you have to do things that are quote unquote imperfect or irregular for it to work see here i'm using the full blade that is flush as in the picture that's the flush part in order to keep the the haircuts consistent the hair's got to keep that flat on the head and then you release it to go into blending mode now what is happening there is i'm essentially adding guards to my blade. You understand what I'm saying? So now it was a one and a half, and as I release it, it now goes into a two, a two and one third. Like, you know, the more, the more angle, the greater the angle, the greater the guard. I mean, the greater the angle, the greater the length, which is why we add guards, because it's a, and guards are there just for consistency and allowing us to remember where our place was. Um, but you can do a whole fade with no guards. You know, it's just these techniques are what are used so that you don't have to go through as many steps, go back to the the table, pick up a guard, this, that, and the third. See, now I went through it and the line is still there. That means my angle is too much. I need to put the, I, I released it up too much. I need to pull it down some more, closer to flush. And see here, there's the whole blade. 
you can use the whole blade or you can use a corner of the blade. And now I have to take out my phone so you can really see the angle. I can't really see. So that's the whole blade. You release it and then you roll it for more accuracy. Start using your whole clipper like it's an eraser, you know what I'm saying? The the your ability to fade is just going to rise above anything else. You know, this is this is when you get to the next level. videos in the past we create lines we take them out we create lines we take them out and that's good for you to really understand like the the basics of fading um but just with those methods you won't be able to complete haircuts that you see online this is where it really gets to perfect um blends you gotta really know how to do that so the other spot where it's really imperative to use this i believe is with the beard fade You don't want to keep picking up guards and all that when you're doing this. So here I start flat and then as I go lower, I release the angle. I, I, I make my angle a little bit greater and you can see it in this angle here. It's flat. And as I go lower, I start using the tip and you can see how my angle gets greater the lower I get because I want more hair, more density as I get lower. And as you get higher when you're going up, you, you add more angle as well. Um, I really hope this helped you guys out. I really tried to explain this really well. This is a method that, you know, it takes a little bit of practice, um, but it's really intuitive you know got to look at the hair and really see what's happening with the density with how much hair is cut hear it and feel it and thank you guys for watching that's it for today i hope you guys uh <laughs> really like this cut he certainly did uh make sure you like comment and subscribe see you guys in the next one